good morning students i hope you all are keeping good so let's begin with our part 3 of chapter 1 english literature standard 5 in this slide children we'll see the quick answers which are given in page number 19 number 1 based on what you have just read say whether the following sentences are true or false number a the spotted owl is the largest owl species false number b the spotted owls and mynas are friends the answer will be false number c spotted owls live in holes on tree true number d spotted owls are completely nocturnal birds they come out only at night nocturnal means the birds which come out at night so answer will be false because spotted owls also come in the day time we have read in this story so number e spotted owls eat other small animals false number f spotted owls have sharp eyes true number g spotted owls have weak beak false number h spotted owls enjoy getting wet true In this slide, children, we will see number two. The word character is used for a person who appears in the story, book, play, or a movie. There are four characters mentioned in the text. Can you identify them? Yes, they are the narrator himself, grandfather, grandmother, and Aunt Mabel. Remember, children, they have asked for the characters, and they that is used for a person, not for animals. So here. we will take into consideration looking into the question so we'll give all the characters as person in the story okay in this slide children we'll see reference to the context which is given in page number 20 of your book so follow the page and see the extract is given over there so the answers are as follows 3a where was the narrator answer is the narrator was under the mango tree in the garden same question b that is 3b what had he placed on the mango tree and the other question which is connecting is what was he stooping to pick up so this question children remember when you see two question in the same question so what you have to do is you have to change the paragraph for the other question so answer is he placed one of the owlet on the mango tree and the other other question was which was related to it what was he stooping to pick up so we'll write the narrator was stooping to pick up the second owlet number c who gave him the heavy blow answer is the mother owl gave the narrator a heavy blow now let's see question number 4a who according to the narrator was feeling sorry answer is according to the narrator it was the mother owl who was feeling sorry number b how did she show she was feeling sorry the answer is the mother owl greeted the narrator and his grandfather with a soft woo woo sound which showed that she was feeling sorry for her behavior number c why had she come there The answer is the mother owl had come there in order to seek forgiveness for her previous day's behavior. Now let's see again the continuation. 5A. Do these lines suggest that grandmother liked most pets or she did not like most pets? So the answer is these lines suggest that grandmother did not like most pets because the above line did not suggest Okay number B who were the members of the household besides grandmother so besides grandmother means you won't be including grandmother except grandmother so except grandmother narrator grandfather aunt mabel and the two owlets were members of the household number C which members of the household did not like the owlet and again a connected question how do you know so aunt mabel you right was the only one who did not like the owlet 
Again, you change the paragraph and write. We come to know this because whenever the words went closer to her in a friendly manner, she would run shrieking from the room. That is shouting. Okay. Here we come to read, reflect, and write part. So, question number six: What do we know about the house where the narrator lived? You have to again connect it. Question: Describe it. based on the details given in the story so according to the details given in the story about the house we come to know that the narrator lived in a bungalow with a roofed platform attached to the ground floor of the bungalow progressing with the slides question number 7 here is given list six sounds of an owl that the narrator has given in the text so we have to find out six sounds The six sounds of an owl that the narrator has given in the text are hissed, clacked, crooned, gurgled, woo woo, and snoring. Question number eight: How did the owlets show their affection for grandmother? The answer is the owlets became so attached to grandmother that they began to show affection towards anyone in petticoat, and in response to grandmother's voice. the owlets would make sound as gentle and purring here in this slide moving on with question number 9 how did the mother owl show that she cared for the little owlets answer is firstly she started taking out different sounds on getting her children secondly she attacked the narrator and his grandfather and lastly she left a mouse with its tail tucked in for her babies to feed on all these points showed that the mother owl really cared for the little owlet here in this slide we come to the last question of this chapter question number 10 did the narrator and his grandfather treat animals with respect give reasons for your answer yes the narrator and his grandfather treat treated animals with respect This we come to know from the incident when the owlets had fallen from their nest, and grandfather and narrator took good care of the owlets, feeding them and giving them proper place to rest. So, children, here we come to the end of this chapter. In the next class, that is the next class, whenever I am going to give, you will be of the second chapter. We'll start with the second chapter. so children you have to learn all the question answers and be thorough with the chapter read it thoroughly and try to understand it